Hello and welcome! My name is Ajax Post and you join me for a surprise edition of Computer Tycoon. And as you can see, the map is a whole lot greener. In fact, as far as you can tell, the map is entirely green. That's not strictly true, but we'll get into that in a moment. Now, this is a surprise to me because if you saw the previous video, you'll have noticed at the end I made mention of the fact that Progorian, the developer of this fine game, released just hours after I finished recording the last episode, not just an update to the game, but a major massive reworking of several of the fundamental features of the game itself. So we're talking logistics, we're talking marketing, we're talking research, we're talking the map itself. So much has changed at a fundamental level. It's almost like a new game. And obviously, with that degree of change, it's a bit like Paradox and Stellaris. Every time they issue a new update, you have to start a new, fresh game. The old saves simply won't work. So I was thinking, I was so delighted to see the new update, which has been a while coming, but there was so much work to do, and he's a sole developer, so it's not surprising. He's taken his time to try and get it right. Um, I'm so pleased to see that arrive. But I was also rather disappointed to say, oh no, I can't actually finish this game. But thankfully, I can run Steam in offline mode and man have managed to prevent it updating to the latest version just yet. So I can properly wrap up this Series 3 of Computer Tycoon, the Phoenix, Te the Phoenix Technology Edition. Okay, so we've moved on a bit further. We've moved on a few years. Um, a lot of that time was taken up in getting the research for the TFT, LCD and the other display technologies, which did take an awfully long time. But we have got there now. As you can see, we're nearly finishing our TFT, LCD research. I was buying lots more country licenses so I can buy to more places. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but when I was saying so grandly last episode, oh, I've got the whole of Europe. There were actually two little pockets I'd missed. I spotted uh, Liechtenstein, Lechtenstein, however you pronounce it, here. So I bought a license into Liechtenstein. I'd missed out, but I spotted it in the recording. Andorra, tiny little province. Is it a principality? Could be. It's a market anyway. So I bought that and also hidden here, the Isle of Man is separate. So I bought into that. So I now do have, I think, the whole of Europe is under the green swathe, under the green control, dominated by Phoenix. Uh, I've obviously bought into Africa, I've bought into Arabia, I've bought everywhere. There's a few islands scattered around which I haven't bought. So if we go here to the markets list, these are all the new ones. As you can see, they're all pretty small, hundreds of thousands of people, apart from the French Southern Islands, something or other, which is down, is this it here? It is. The French Southern and Antarctic Islands, which has a population of 47 million, which isn't, don't do that, which isn't the biggest of the populations I found while you were away. It's a little island here in the middle of the Pacific. I had to search for it on Google to find it, called Kiribati. A population of a mere 165 million people. That cost me a four logistics points, but I've bought into that. And as you can see, um, I, my demand is, is good, but it keeps slipping away because Afari, although they're a bit slower than me at the moment in technology, are catching up. Even so, I do now have over 80% of the co computer global sales market, but I've bought more sites to cope with the demand in terms of factories. I've also bought another couple of sites actually, Malaysia and Lebanon, for research purposes. I had thought I would complete the Bahamas site, my original home base, by adding research into that, but the top level research is very expensive and I then started losing money and I don't like doing that. So I sort of cheated a bit and went back to the previous save and I've created new sites in Malaysia and Lebanon, uh, which uh, are they at level five research? Malaysia is, but I don't think the Lebanon is. No, that's only level four because level uh, five research is a million a day. And as you can see, I'm not making that much money anymore. Uh, I need to reduce my buildings. 
output in the factory. So let's go down here. Uh, we'll take Ireland out of production. Yeah, we'll. Uh, what's the? We'll. Um, what's the? There's, there's a word for it, isn't it? Which was in the back of my head just for a moment there. Uh, mothball. That's the word I was looking for. We'll mothball that for a moment. There we are. That's better. Earning three million a day. Cool. That's nice. You have researched a new technology. Excellent. So I have researched TFT LCD. Unfortunately, it's not said I can now get into tablets. So I'm feeling in this episode, wrapping up, we won't get into tablet computers. I'm not quite sure what the key technology is to open that up. Uh, and I'm looking for uh, the VDU things. Here we are. Plasma. Uh, where's tablet? It's over here somewhere. Flat screen. Oh, there's TFT. There it is. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't work on tablets, so it's not a tablet technology as such, which is rather annoying. Although touchscreen is, uh, as a... Oh, no, touchscreen. Ah, oh, OK. They are. But they might take a while to research. If we go to our queue, what have I got lined up? Open GR, open graphics, that won't take long at all. Normal copy protection virus. Haven't updated my, um, my operating system for a long time, so I thought I might do something like that. OK, let's add touchscreen to the research queue. Yeah, that will take a long time. I'm not sure we'll have time to finish that in this episode, to be honest. Uh, but what I want to do is, because my latest computers, let's have a look at that. My latest computer, which I've built, uh, let's get these in date order. It'd be nice if it did that automatically. Uh, oh, I added the SD card, which is gives me the nano mic. Actually, that's a thought. I'm still using 250 nano microns. I should be able to build now with 180, was it? Uh, where is it? Yeah, 180. Oh, I added the SD card, but not the 180. Oh, I'm a great plonker. <laughs> so what I'll do is I will quickly, as usual, just off camera, I will upgrade the appropriate components to 180 nano microns. I'll add in the TFT LCD display, uh, which will give me a new display option. And uh, we will build a new set of computers on that technology, which might be the last ones we build. But anyway, I will see you after this next. I'm going to call it, because it is, a sexy video effect. Okay, so I've added in the 100 nanomicron uh, production me method uh, to make several of my components cheaper. We've added in the TFT LCD screen. But as you can see, uh, we are doing very much better now in terms of performance. Uh, the, the the smaller production t tooling, uh, the 180 nanomicrons, means I can multiply my processor power that much more, uh, which is very handy. And if we actually look at this, let's go to prototype for a second. Create the prototype. The prototype. I've not discussed this, I think, for quite some time, if ever. But the prototyping does a number of things. For home computers, you get more prestige for each day it spends in prototyping. PCs get 1% more performance per day. And portable computers get more quality and features, a half percent per day. And handheld computers, if we ever get to them, will get 1.5% more uh, ease of use per day. Compounding, it says, which is very nice. I like some compound One of interest. Your competitors went bankrupt. Oh no! Brutal data have gone. Oh, that is so sad. It's so very, very sad. Um, I'm sure they had a little island out here somewhere in the middle of this probably was it. Cape Verde. I think that was the only place they had left. Or one of the few places they had left. Yeah, nobody owns it anymore. Uh, Orange aren't here anymore. Forsha chips, they're, they're in there. Cheap and great. Yeah. Big, yeah, and um, Afari, of course. Everywhere's got, everyone's got everywhere. Though I've not got the Cape Verde Islands yet. Shall I go in there? It's only 200,000 people, but they are filthy rich. So, yeah, worth a logistics point, I think. We'll take you. Oh, one thing you might have noticed, which I've just, <laughs> I was ignoring for a while. I'm losing money. 
That's outrageous. So what I need to do is uh, go in here and just take mothballs from more factories. Uh, and so I can get my production down. Not quite sure why this happens, but it's very annoying when it does. Uh, oh, if I get the game running, that'll help. Okay, I'm underproducing now. That's better. I'm selling from my stockpile. I'm still losing a lot of money though. And I'm down to 80% of the global market. Ah, good, okay. We're back in profit. Nearly three million. You have researched a new technology. Okay, I've got the OpenGR support. I'm losing money again. Strength. Uh, I don't think I've got any poor country factories. Uh, yeah, the interesting thing there is, is if we just, while I've got the game paused, if we put China up to 100%, it's a poor country, and that costs me nearly eight and a half million a day. Whereas in Poland, which is a poverty country, less than five million. Yeah, so the poverty discount is very uh, substantial. It's very impactful in reducing my costs. Uh, I think, yeah, all my factories are currently mothballed. Uh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Your not... new computer model is polished. That's interesting. I'm not... Oh, I've got a new computer model. That'd be the new home computer. That's ready to sell. Okay, hopefully this will make the difference. Let's get back out to the map. Yeah, interesting, everywhere is still mine. Now, I still have one place to really buy into, which is these little islands here. How many is that? 47 million? I am uh, well, won't do it just yet. We'll do it once I've released my new computers, just in case, <laughs> just in case I, I need all the factory capacity for that. So this is the new home computer. Okay, as you can see, it's substantially better than everything that went before it in terms of performance. In terms of feature set, in terms of prestige, quality, oh, it's, it's an awesome beast. There it is. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's got an interesting looking... Oh, I remember screens that used to look like that. Uh, okay, so how much are we going to price this at? 299 Actually, how does that compare to my other computers? I've reduced the price on those already. So, yeah, this needs to be a bit more than that, I think. 3099 that gives me a nice yeah that works for me yeah nice profit everywhere okay let's get the game rolling and we'll market you get the game rolling click it that's right. good as you can see demand has suddenly leapt up interestingly actually looking at the stats uh, brown is the home computers and blue is the personal computers yeah, the home computers are doing really well the last year or so compared to the PCs. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm sure there's a good reason for it. <gasps> What's going on here? Uzbekistan. It must be because I'm running out of factory capacity. Right, we'll deal with that. We will deal with that. Let's get all these factories back into production before she tells me off that I'm running out of capacity. Get the game running, man. That's it. My mouse clicking is as bad as my mouse control. You have researched a new technology. Okay, we've got copy protection virus stuff. Oh, okay, we're overproducing again. That's okay. I'm, just, I'm losing money. This is not on. Your new computer model is polished. Okay, we have a new PC. All right, let's bring you to the marketplace. Uh, that's a PC. Uh, again, substantially better than anything that went before it. I mean, Afaris, that's two years old now. Wow, that is, yeah, this is quite a, quite a poor looking machine, really, compared to ours. All right, uh, we'll price this at uh, 3099 again. Yeah, I, that looks okay to me. Give you a slightly better discount, perhaps. Okay, let's see if that one works. Market. 
Good. Again, I'm running out of capacity. Oh, hang on, what's this? What is this? Forsha chips have got some. Hang on, let's let's pause this for a second. What is that? The Saishan Saishen Glacier. You don't have enough manufacturing yes, capacity. I know. Ah. Well, I need to buy that as well. Okay. Right. Oh no, no. Blue's taking over. I'm running out of capacity. That's the problem, I think. Uh, okay. Get me a building list up. Get everyone producing. That can. Yeah, I think everyone is now. Your new computer model is polished. And that's a new portable. How can I still be losing money? This is outrageous. Okay, right. Let's bring our portable to the marketplace. And we will sell you for, oh, I don't know. 7,009 pound. That uh, all looks good to me. It's a little bit pricey for some of these countries, but I'll oh, discount it perhaps so it fits into their averages. There you go. Yeah, you should you should sell. That should be no problem for you. And you do. Phew, back in profit again. But there's so much demand now. Ooh, do I need another factory? The trouble is another factory site will cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, if we go here, uh, let's look for, uh, this is something that apparently has changed in the, well there's loads of things which changed in the new version, is you no longer have to have a license to sell into a, into a market before you can build a site. So I don't need, for example, to have a license to sell in Angola before I can build a site in Angola. So those two mechanisms are quite separate. So I can build machines in Angola, for example, and sell them to Albania if I wanted to. I could do that. I could. Uh, we'll look for poverty wealth countries. And we're not going to build something in Antarctica. Bangladesh. Yeah. Bosnia and Herzegovina. But Barbados. Yes, let's go there. Let's build a site. See, that site cost me nearly $10 billion. We're going to do it anyway. Yikes. <laughs> I've only got a cushion of $36 billion now before I go bankrupt. So let's uh, build the recreation. Let's build the factory. Let's build the office. I will build a small logistics office as well. There you go. Why am I not? What the world is still got blue bin bits in it. I'm not happy with that. Uh, right, let's move forward a bit. Okay, although we are underproducing, Your upgrade has completed. We are in profit which is very nice to see okay i don't know where, where's barbados it's around here somewhere isn't it i'm sure i see these little islands you see cheap and great forsha chips they have got some outlets although they are tiny which is obviously why they're going bankrupt where the heck is barbados it is around here somewhere isn't it that's puerto rico this is the bahamas what's that Turks and Caicos. The Baha... No, that's the Bahamas. Ah, we found it. There's Barbados. <laughs> right. Uh, let's go into the site there. It's easier to do it from the, the, from the site list, to be honest, but I was just trying to be funny there. And obviously failing miserably. So we'll upgrade our factory there. And our office. Okay. That's good. Okay, hopefully the world will start turning green again. Ah, good, my percentage is going back up. Has completed. 
82 percent plus manufacturing capacity yes i'm aware of that thank you very much uh let's uh we won't go there we'll go here the building list and barbados should be at the bottom here somewhere oh no, it's not quite at the bottom uh where is it ah there it is barbados so oh we need to increase our recreation zone first before we can build the new factory thank you yes i know i'll increase our office as well good good my percentage is going up i'm still profitable well, i'm not at all happy that uh, these countries again it must be a capacity issue they want my computers but i can't supply them because i don't have the factories but uh, that's okay because I'm selling to all the people that want it. So I've got 82.5% and increasing. We'll be, we'll be back building to 83 upgrade has completed. before you know it. Right, we've got Your the... Your building upgrade has completed. Got the new recreation zone in Barbados so I can increase our factory level. There you go. And likewise recreation so we can go up to level 4. This is good. As long as I'm making money, I'm happy. Uh, that's good, good. Uh, what's our research doing with the flat screen? Uh, that must be uh, around flat. Ah, here it is. It's a, it's a separate um, channel. It's a separate uh, line from TFT, the LCDs. So there's the flat screen, which again applies to everything in portables. The touch screen applies to tablets. Now that might be like the Your building upgrade has completed modular components thing, Your whatever it was here. Upgrade has completed. Thank you. Which uh, was the key to getting PCs from home computers. So maybe touch screens is what we need for tablets. Again, uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have time in this episode to, to see that. Uh, but let's uh, go back to our site. Yeah, we're still underproducing. We're going to need a bigger factory. Okay, we're upgrading you. And we'll upgrade our recreation to the final level. So we can get another level five factory in the island of on the island of Barbados. Which might allow us to meet our demand. I'm not sure it will to be honest, but um. we don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Okay, demand is falling slightly. I'm back Your over. Building upgrade has completed. Eighty-three percent of the global market. Can I finally reach a level five factory in Barbados? Yes. Okay. Again, that won't meet the peak of demand that I had, but uh, we will be able to sell more. Hopefully, enough to get. All these other countries going green again. 83.5% doing very nicely. We'll have the flat screen soon. Your building upgrade has completed. Okay. Yeah, we haven't quite got enough factory capacity to meet demand. Let's go back to that list again. So, where's Barbados? Are you, oh, I've no idea where you are. You've gone again. Are you at the top? No. Oh, by the way, I, I did a little research after the last episode. Um, according to YouTube pronunciation videos, this uh, island, which apparently I think is Finnish, um, but has a main, is a predominantly or wholly Swedish um, language speaking population, something like that. Uh, yeah, it was that little country, I'm sure you remember. Because you were here with me, weren't you? This little country here, this little island in between Finland and Sweden. Apparently, if I get this right, it is pronounced Orland. 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 That's probably just as bad as my original pronunciation, for which I do apologise. But uh, yeah. Oh, oh, right. The world's gone green again. That's much better. We're overproducing slightly. So you shall I researched a new technology. finally pick up this last big market. 47 million people, the French Southern Islands and 
Antarctica and, Antarct and Antarctic land. It's only going to cost me seven and a half million. That's one day's profit. There you go. Done. You're going to go green very soon, aren't you? Yeah, you're increasingly green. Poor old Biggs is being squeezed out. There he goes. 84% of the globe. It's green. Every big market in the world is now owned by Phoenix Technology. That is awesomeness. Absolutely awesomeness. Unfortunately, the touch screen is going to take me a while to research, uh, and I've lost it again. It's down, there it is. 343 days, that's a year. Now if we go into the open queue. Yeah, we're, we're a tenth of the way there, just over. So again, I'm not sure, because I want to wrap this up in this episode, this series. I think that's where we will do this. We are doing very not. I'm overproducing again. Ugh, darn it. Oh, well. Um, right, so this will be it. Thank you so much for joining me for this series of Computer Tycoon. Um, there will now be a break. I will not start a new series for the game just yet. But I do hope to get a sort of what's new type video done. Um, I don't think it will be immediately. It will be a little while before so I can have some time to get into the game and see how it works and just sort of highlight some of the some of the key changes I will I'm sure not be master of any of them because I, I seldom understand exactly how a game works <laughs> so uh, I just have I'm just here to have fun with it uh, so I will try and get that out as soon as I can but um, yeah don't hold your breath it may be a few weeks before I can get that out uh, besides which uh, the, the latest update there have been a number of reported bugs with it. Nothing too major from what I can see. So it's quite possible that we'll get a hot fix or an update out anyway uh, in the reasonably near future, seeing how uh, Pregorian, the developer, manages to, to get it done. Um, but what I want to do next is I'll just go a quick flip chart through the history of this series in terms of market share and computers. And uh, we'll wrap this up. So once again, from me, Ajax Post, thank you so much for your time today and your commitment to this series. I hope you've enjoyed it as best you can. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed once again playing this game and I'm so glad that I've managed to get on hard difficulty, which I don't normally play, some sort of success. 86% of the global computer sales market. I call that successful. <laughs> so, oh, go on, let's look at the stats. It's 1997 now. And our market share, that is a gorgeous looking graph. Look, uptick, uptick in demand. I love that. Okay, we're going to swizzle now. We'll have another quick sexy video effect. I'll have a quick, a few seconds of uh, highlights of how we got from then to here. But once again, from me, thank you so much for spending time with me on this series. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and give this one a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this or any of the series. If you've got any comments to make, then please do just drop a note into the comments box below. Any ideas, suggestions, recommendations, criticisms, anything at all. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do that. You know, and that way you'll know automatically, more or less, when I upload another one of these, which I'm sure I will do eventually, or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, for the moment, bye bye for now.